Chavre, how are you doing? My name is Vince. So I've been searching for a long time for an everyday shooter, an everyday camera that I can take with me wherever I go. And um, yeah, I wasn't really successful with that. A couple of years ago, I purchased the uh, Fujifilm XF10, um, which is fine. Like the, the photos that I got, they were fine. It just the whole shooting experience didn't really do it for me. So. I didn't have fun shooting it. It felt like a hassle to take the camera with me, even though she's so compact. And um, yeah, I've been searching far and wide and I haven't come across a, a camera that, uh, that I liked yet. Um, maybe the Fuji X105 or now even 6 would have been a better choice, but frankly, I didn't have the money at the time. And as an avid Lumix user, I of course looked into the Lumix ecosystem. Um, there I found the Alex. LX100 series, that's what it's called. Unfortunately, they are discontinued. So they had only two uh, iterations of that, the LX100 and the LX102. Now, why am I telling you all of this? Since I believe the year 2000, Leica and Panasonic have like a collaboration going on. And for many products that Lumix uh, puts out, Leica has an equivalent, for example, in lenses and some cameras. Like the 12 to 60 millimeter lens that I unboxed with my uh, GH7 unboxing and uh, I put it here or there, I, I, I don't know right now, but I put it somewhere up, to, up on the screen. So speaking of the LX100 series from Lumix once again, while they produce the LX100 series, Leica produced the Deluxe series, which is essentially the same camera. Unfortunately, like I said, Lumix has discontinued the LX100 series, but Leica hasn't abandoned their Deluxe series. And that's why we're here today. We're gonna check out the Deluxe 8. In about 10 minutes, I have an appointment at my local Leica store to rent out the camera. Unfortunately, we only have one and a half hours to test out the camera before I have to return it. So let's make the most out of it and let's go. All right, and now we're here with the beautiful Maria. Hi. She's gonna be my model for today. And we're just gonna walk around a little bit, go to Starbucks, have a coffee. And yeah, what do you think? I'm excited. Okay, then let's do it. <laughs> we set it together. All right, that is good for the first, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can drink it exactly like you just did. I like that. Look to the right again, like you did. Yes, beautiful. I part your lips a little bit. Let's have a quick look. And let's see if we can like have your hair more on that side. Yes, that's beautiful. Exactly, a little bit more relaxed. Oh, that's beautiful. Say like that. It is, but it's it's a beautiful uh, book. I can only recommend. Yeah, you can you can take it with you. Yes. How would you read? How does Maria read? Maria reads like this. <laughs> Maria reads on the bed. Look like this or on the bed. Beautiful, yeah. Beautiful, yes. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. That's beautiful. But this side, or do you want to take a look on other one? Which side would be, would be better? We have to see how the shadows falls. I kind of like how the shadows are here. Mm. 
but that's gorgeous. I also like, you know, like when you did this like sidestep. Do you remember how you did it? Maybe it was just in a moment. Because you were standing like this, and then you put your left foot over there, you look over there, and you kind of had like this bend that you did like this. Yeah, just with the other foot to, to that side. Yeah. Wing, let's see. Yeah. Ach so, nee, sie geht nicht. Ja, ja. Ich habe das lange nicht gemacht. Dann weiß ich das. Es sieht viel besser aus, als wenn ich immer nur etwas mit Drogen Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes. Like that. And now let's do it again. Exactly. I'm going to try like a close up. So I'm just going to have you like from the uh, chest upwards. Yeah, look at. Yeah, yeah. That's it. This too. Yeah, that's good. Cute. Nice. Oh, that is nice. Love it. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, like that. Gorgeous. Exactly. Yes, like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah, looks good. I can do one more time if you need or it's good. No, that's perfect. And that's a wrap. Um, yeah, how was it? It was really cool. I enjoyed it a lot. And the pictures are perfect. All right. Yeah, I think we got some really nice shots there. Yeah, like, I think so. Yeah, I'm excited to see them on the on the computer and see what we got, but uh, I believe we have some nice ones. Yeah, all the thanks to the photographer. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for being my model. And uh, yeah, I leave her Instagram details down in the description below. So you can check her out. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the studio then. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> and we're back at the studio. Wow, that was a quick one hour tour. Like. Time went by so fast, but it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot. And I think we got some really amazing results. Um, let me know in the comments if you like them as well. And uh, yeah, what more is to say? Maybe let's go into the Leica Deluxe 8 itself a little bit. So overall, great little camera. I really enjoyed shooting with it. Build quality is amazing nice, compact, high quality, and the photos turned out really nice. I mean, you do see that the camera is struggling a little bit in low light conditions. I mean, it has a micro four third sensor. Then on the other hand, my GH7 and 6 also have a micro four third sensor and their low light capability is a lot better. Don't get me wrong, I know different setup, different purpose, different camera in, its, uh, in itself. But um, you do notice that and you also do notice the only 17 megapixels that the camera has. I usually am not a big me megapixel kind of guy, but um, here you really did notice, like especially if you reframed certain shots, you did notice that you couldn't like blow it up too much because otherwise everything would get fuzzy and pixelated. But overall, I gotta say, I had lots of fun taking the camera out with me, taking it on a spin and see what it's capable of. And I also do think that the Leica Deluxe 8 has the great potential of being like an everyday carry camera, something that you can take with you on a daily basis to capture everything from shoots like the one that we did today with a model, but also capturing life, capturing uh, what's happening on the streets, capturing your daily life essentially. But at the same time, I would also argue that for 1600 euros, which is quite hefty, you might want to check out some other alternatives like the Lumix LX102 that we talked about earlier, especially if you keep in mind that also the lens and the sensor on the Leica Deluxe 8 are not new. 
They're from an older generation camera. I think it's the same thing on the Dilux 7, if I'm uh, remembering correctly. And honestly, for that price tag, you might want to consider something else as well. If you love the photos, if you were like, hey, this is the style that I want, this is my camera, please go for it. It's an amazing camera. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun to shoot with. But uh, I'll definitely check into the uh, Lumix system once again, Lumix ecosystem. I want to check out the LX100 too and maybe also the newly released S9 camera. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. If you enjoyed it and want to see more behind the scenes photo shoots, video shoots and uh, other filmmaking and photography related content, maybe even how I check out the Lumix LX100 too, maybe in comparison with the Leica Deluxe 8 and the S9 perhaps, then please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any new updates and new uploads. And please feel free to share your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you wanna stay updated and or check out the photos that we took today with Maria, follow me on Instagram. And of course, in the description down below, I also have the link to Maria's Instagram page, so you can check that out too. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. No, it's fine, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's, it's like a vlogging situation, but thanks. Thank you, that's very sweet. Unfortunately, we only have one and a half hours before I have to return the camera again. So let's get this gingo. It is so weird when people look at you while you try to record yourself. I mean, it's already weird to record yourself in public, but Jesus Christ. Women, look away. I know I'm handsome. I shouldn't include that in the video.